Hello, my name is Eric Normand. I've been doing functional programming since 2000, 2001, back in college. And I've had a number of jobs doing various functional languages, Haskell, Clojure, um, done some functional JavaScript. Uh, I've also been teaching Clojure and functional programming online, in workshops, and I wanted to write a book that I could recommend to intermediate level programmers who were getting into functional programming, they were searching for it online, they were trying to find something good about it, but all they found was either something that was specific to a particular language or overly academic, overly complex ideas about functional programming that didn't seem applicable to what they were doing in their daily work as engineers. So that's the book that I started writing over a year ago. It is now in early access. It's called Grokking Simplicity. And in the book, it takes you through three levels of proficiency in functional programming. I think the first level is often um, overlooked in what people teach. So they might spend a minute or two on it in a presentation, an hour-long presentation that gets one minute. But I think that's the biggest benefit. The biggest benefit is that first level where you're learning how to distinguish between what I call actions, calculations, and data. It's all in the book, but actions are things that have an effect on the world or affect the program. Calculations are things that are timeless, they don't uh, affect anything, they're simply computations, and data is this inert thing that can move around between systems. And just making that first leap of distinguishing, yes, these things have an effect on the world, we should be careful about when we run them, versus these other things, these calculations and the data, these we don't have to worry about. We can run the calculations whenever we want, as many times as we want. And they have an impact on testing because calculations are way more testable because you don't have to set up crazy environments, testing environments, they don't talk to the database, they don't send an email, for instance. Uh, and they're easier to uh, debug. Now, the thing is we get into level two, which is where you start doing map filter reduce, you create uh, transformation pipelines, data transformation pipelines, a lot of higher order thinking stuff. We've come up with actions that, uh, a way to transform an action into something that's, for instance, item potent, or an action that when you run it, Every time you run it, it gets turned into uh, a, a, a linearization of the calls, so they don't all get called at one time. They get called in order. Things like that. So we do some cool things like that, very practical, very scenario-based. Finally, the third level is where we start thinking about composable models of things. And uh, we start using data a lot more to represent what we're, what we're doing. Well, cool. I hope you check out the book. Um, it's called Grokking Simplicity. I'm Eric Normand. I think that if you have been looking for a book to finally teach you functional programming, you've heard about how cool it is, but you haven't found a resource that could actually do that for you, that could actually teach it to you from, from the basics, this book is, I hope, it. And if you like it, please let others know, because this is a book for sharing. I created it for you know, people who are already uh, intermediate to advanced functional programmers. They could recommend this book to people who ask them about what they should read. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much, and I hope to see you in the book.